Hi, Cancer, getting ready to do a weekly reading. These are love readings, but they are showing up as work and family and different things. So, but this is for April 25th through May 1st. Again, this is for Cancer, and this is for Sun, Moon, and Rising. All right, Cancer Universe, what does Cancer need to know this week? You have the devil, but you're walking away. Very nice. Um, this could obviously be you, Cancer, the King of Cups. Let me see you see that. Sometimes when I get the King of Cups, like with the devil, this is someone who can be very manipulative. They know how to work emotions. They know how to make you feel sorry for them or, you know, that type of thing. We'll see what's going on. Oh, I like this. This is someone saying, I see you for what you are. I see how you're acting. I see what this situation is. This does not have to be a relationship or a person. This could be actually other things like um, negative thinking, ace of cups. There's no love there. Someone's coming in and there's no love. This probably is a person. Could be a Capricorn. Okay, we have the judgment. You're reviewing all this. You're going to start looking things over or you already have probably with judgment. Okay, you are actually the Knight of Wands right now. This is the energy of you, so you may be leaving. You may be the one coming and going. Okay, there is a Queen of Coin influencing this reading, so this could be a Capricorn Taurus Virgo. could be a King, though. Um, might have something to do with money also. This might also be you. You're fearing or hoping the Knight of Swords. Your outcome is Five of Coin in reverse, so coming in and out of the cold. Under the deck is the Page of Wands. So this, wow, there could be a, a real disaster that probably already happened. Look at that, look at that Two of Cups with the chariot headed straight toward the tower. And then messages, communication. So you may have broken up with someone. It could be a Cancer like yourself, but since this is your sign, definitely could be you moving away from a Capricorn. Okay, so let's just, at the ending, you have the five of coin coming out of the cold. So this is, I think, waking up and realizing something's wrong. Something's the matter here. Something's not going on. This person, I don't think, I think this person is trying to make you feel sorry for them. I don't think that's your energy there. I think this is your energy. Probably seeing something very clearly. Seeing that somebody, there's no love there. They're They may be a player, even though it's in your position, but um, all right, let me pull some cards and we'll clarify the outcome. All right. What is the outcome for cancer? They have the five of coin in reverse, please, universe. Outcome for cancer. Five of Swords. What else for Cancer, please? Six of Cups. What is going back to the past? Oops. Ace of Coin. Nice, Cancer. You have the Six of Swords, too, in reverse. This keeps showing up in reverse. Um, okay. This is a different energy, Cancer. I feel like you're in the driver's seat this week. I really do. I feel like you're seeing something very clearly this week. This could definitely be you. Because if you're getting the Ace of Coin as a clarifying card, this is you holding that coin. This week, you may end up just up and leaving a situation, moving on, moving forward. Uh, someone may c contact you. Page of Wands is a good message. It can be fun. It's upbeat. Usually, it's like, it can be flirty if it's, actually, if it's love. So maybe someone communicates with you and you just say, you know what, okay, I'm going to get on my horse. I'm going to go. I'm going to take off. This situation I'm waiting for isn't, isn't working for me. I'm walking away. There's no love here. This person, this could be, honestly, guys, this could be someone new that you're dating. It could be a Capricorn or another water sign. And you realize, you know what, this isn't going to work out. Could be that there's just no love in it, you know, and you, this could be like dating them for just one week, a couple of weeks, and just seeing it clearly and thinking, wow, this person really reminds me of, of somebody else, my ex or something here. This is, um, again, maybe some of you are dating a lot. Maybe you are serial dating cancer. You're going from one person to the next to the next, and you think, hey, I don't know, maybe I should put my focus on something else, maybe working, making money. Possibly also, maybe you guys get offered a new job out of the blue. Maybe some of you are dating people. Um, right now, 
um, and you, but you need to be focusing on work and looks like you're getting a job. I see you're coming out of the cold, obviously the five of coin in reverse, but it makes sense with the ace of coin being offered into something new. Now, five of swords is about doing what's best for you. If it's positive energy for you, it's about not worrying what other people think or say, knowing that someone else is maybe manipulating you, um, or anything negative and saying, Hey, I got to do what's best for me. I don't think this is being done towards you because of the, this outcome. I think this is you doing what's best for you. Maybe your children, maybe this is your children here. So I'm seeing six of cups and we all know this is an ex or someone from the past. It can be childhood. So this might be someone from the past. You do know that has to do with money working someone you knew giving you a large sum of money, um, taking that money and saying, you know what, this is a blessing. I'm going to take it and run with it. Nothing wrong with that. The six of cups doesn't have to be obviously an ex. It can be someone, you know, to me, that's around you. You may not be communicating with them right now. So this may be where this comes in. And you decide to move on because there's um, some type of financial stability with Ace of Coin, a new beginning. This could be someone, you know, wanting you to move, wanting you to move in and be a nanny for their kids or something, and they'll pay very well and can live in their home. I feel a feeling also of protection off this Five of Swords. Like there may be someone coming in to help you. And they know that there's this type of energy around you that you need to get away from. It could also be what's coming in. King of Cups may be someone who there is no love with this person because this is platonic. This is um, someone who cares about you. I do feel this feeling of protection. I do feel this feeling of help, helping. This can be the card of helping and have nothing to do with love and, and X. So it could be that this is showing you, hey, this is not someone who you're going to romantically be involved with. This King of Cups, but this person is really nice. They're caring. They want to help you. If this is a boss, I've had bosses who are King of Cups. I don't know if they actually were the sign, but they came up with this very kind, gentle energy, easy to work with. Usually very easy going, understanding when you make mistakes, that kind of energy. So good, nice person to work for. If this is a job, but they're letting you know this is not love. This person may not have those feelings for you or you don't have those feelings for them. But that's okay because I think there's something else they want to offer you. Stability, friendship, kindness, help, um, a new job. So think about anyone that you do know from the past. But I see here that I think they're going to contact you anyway. So you're not going to really have to worry about it. Because there is something, and this could be a job you're walking away. You're looking at this job and you're thinking, you know, this company doesn't pay me well. This company is not doing what they're supposed to be doing. They're not giving me the benefits they promised. Um, so you know what? Hey, I'm out of here. So, Cancer, how are this is working out this week? And again, this energy will probably roll into May. This isn't a blessing. This is a gift. This is something that will help you move away from something that isn't working in your life. This may not be love for you this week. And don't be afraid to do what's best for you and get on your horse. And you're showing up as that player energy, whatever. You're not necessarily a player, but you're out of there. You're moving on. Bye. Maybe you started a job and you've only been there three months or less, three weeks. And now you're, Hey, I'm out of here. I'm seeing a lot of people who made decisions within the last three to six months, change those decisions. People who moved and then they end up, they don't like where they moved. They're leaving again already. People just, you know, choices made are being changed right now. This is that energy we're in. So that may be why you're coming up like this energy. Maybe you're moving from thing to thing, but you haven't found what's best for you. And this looks like this is a good opportunity. You're seeing things clearly. Um, you could be dealing with an air sign who's not very good. And maybe there is an earth sign that's helping you. Maybe fire is helping you also. You actually do have quite a few people here and, and signs. So actually I have every suit actually I noticed. Not, not too worried. You may have a female boss though with that energy there. And someone up there who may be like, oh, please don't go. Please stay with me or stay with the company. We really need you, but they really don't care. Okay, it's manipulation. So I'm going to leave it there for you, Cancer. Have a really good week and take care.